morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are having a great day so far. First off, subscribe if you're not already, just because it really helps me out, and I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you if you do, and thank you if you're already subscribed. It really means a lot to me. Today, I wanted to do like a grocery shop with me, but I want to do it a little bit different and tell you like exactly what I get at the grocery store and like put up little lists. That way, if you guys are just starting your health and fitness journey, you can kind of use this as a guide and maybe like copy it or give you some ideas about what you can need to get at the grocery store. Personally, for me, I like to eat whole foods. Like I really don't buy that much processed foods. I will buy things here and there if I'm making specific recipes but normally I just stick to like veggies and meat and like raw foods and whole foods because that's just the way I've been eating for a really long time and it works best with my body and it makes me feel the best that's just the way that I like to eat so I continue to do it also little side note I don't know how anybody could hate grocery shopping well actually yes I do I could see how you could hate it but for me, grocery shopping is kind of like therapeutic for me. I know that sounds so dumb and weird, but it's like me time. Like I have a list, I know exactly what I'm gonna get, and I go in there, it's just me and the food, and I don't know, I love it. I also love the atmosphere. There's usually a bunch of old people in me and we just like bond, I don't know. So that leads me into, I'm going to a new grocery store today. It's called Central Market. I think it's like the healthy version of H-E-B kind of. I think it's owned by H-E-B. And I have never been before and I'm so excited because we don't have H-E-Bs like anywhere in Dallas. I love H-E-B is what I went to all throughout college because they have them all over Waco. So I'm really excited today and everybody's been telling me, oh my gosh, you're gonna love it so much. So I have high hopes. Dude, I just drank my matcha and I need to get in there quickly. Also sad story, I love the Casetify masks. They're my favorite ever. Um, but my black one that I wore all the time, when Bronson cut his finger when we were in Austin the other weekend, I had to sacrifice it to put on his finger to stop the bleeding. So it's a goner now. Also, if you didn't notice, I actually did my makeup today and I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself for getting ready because I literally never wear makeup. So that's, that's a no, win number one for today. said that I would love that place, you were 100% absolutely right. That was the coolest, most healthiest, awesomest grocery store I've ever been to. I'm dead serious. I have to show you what I got. I just, I, I have to show you what I got. I still need to run to Trader Joe's and grab like two or three things that are specific to Trader Joe's. I don't know what I like better because Trader Joe's like makes everything in house, but that, that like literally everything in the store was healthy. It was so cool. But I got a kale, pineapple, apple, ginger, green juice. And it looks so good. I'm really excited to try this. And then I also picked up some sushi for lunch and I just got an avocado spring roll. It looks really good. But yeah, let's try this bad boy. Oh, oh little doggy, haha. <laughs> 
Look at this little bro. Look at that little guy. Hello. Okay, so I'm sitting in a parking garage about to go into Trader Joe's. That's why it's so dark. But I'm so hungry. It's already one. So I'm going to eat this sushi. Actually, let's try the green juice first. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's very gingery. Yeah, that's really good. Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now time for the sush. Ooh, peanut sauce. Yummy. That's really good. 10 out of 10, people. Hi, crazy. Hi, crazy. Hi, crazy. Hi, crazy. Hi, doggos. Hi, do Hello, everybody. Before I go through all of my groceries and tell you guys everything that I got, I do want to tell you about a product that I'm about to use because I'm going to work out in a little bit and I really need to take off my makeup because I hate working out in makeup because it just clogs my pores and stuff. You guys know I love Belief. I have been working with them for months now. I love their products because they're super clean and I've told you guys I use waterproof mascara because for some reason it's just better, okay? But the only problem is it's like concrete on your eyelashes and like if you've ever used the little blue wipes we all know the makeup removing wipes that are like the little blue ones it doesn't work like it literally won't come off it takes like days for it to come off you'll like rub 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 until like your eyes are raw let me show you a freaking life-changing product i'm literally not kidding so this is the belief aqua balm makeup removing cleansing balm and i've actually never used like a balm before to remove my makeup but let me tell you it's incredible I've already used like half the thing already, but it's like you pretty much just scoop it out with your fingers like this And then you rub it on your eyes and kind of Like smush it. I'll show you. I'll show you guys. I like this because it's so hydrating like it doesn't dry out especially around my under eyes i get very very dry and it's like honestly painful when it gets super dry so i love this because it's super moisturizing i have to show you guys how well this works okay so let's go in the bathroom really quick I love to put on the Aqua Balm moisturizer after the cleanser because it's also super moisturizing and really lightweight, so it feels really good on your skin. Yeah, but if you guys want to check out the Aqua Balm cleansing balm or the Aqua Balm True Cream, they are both available at Sephora now. Not kidding you, these have been like life changing because now I can actually get my makeup off. It comes off so easily. Like, look at that. There's literally nothing left, and it doesn't leave like the black under eye. You know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I wanna go through and show you exactly what I got from each of these grocery stores. That way you can just kinda have like a rough idea and maybe add some of these things to your list if you're looking to start eating healthier. Not saying I am the health queen, I am the wannabe health queen, so I try really hard. This way of eating works for me and if you wanna try it out, go for it. First off, I wanna go over the veggies that I like to get because veggies are pretty much a staple in every single meal that I cook. You guys know I like to keep cut up veggies and then just toss them into my meals because I find that that is the easiest way to get the right amount of vitamins and minerals and everything that you need is just to throw some veggies into every single meal. Also, I'll kind of include fruits in this as well because I love snacking on fruit and usually I will meal prep it, I guess, by cutting it up and keeping it in little glass containers to keep them in the fridge and then pull them out whenever I get hungry for a little snacky. Okay, so first off are little baby tomatoes, arugula, frozen edamame, kind of random, but I love throwing this into like my stir fry dishes. It's really good. Baby bell peppers. So these I love to eat as a snack. Really a low carb snack. Like when you're just like mindlessly snacking, if you snack on veggies, it's not that bad. But I love to eat that with like hummus or any kind of dip. I'm sorry. These are the only bags that they had and I didn't bring my reusable bags, but I literally ordered them on Amazon the other day and then forgot to bring them. So I'm sorry, I use plastic bags, please don't hate me. I always get mushrooms. Fun fact, I actually used to hate mushrooms and literally this year started actually eating them and trying them and I actually love mushrooms, who would have thought? So don't be afraid to try new things, people. That's the moral of the story. Red bell peppers are like a staple in 
all of my meals, so definitely get some red bell peppers. Zucchini squash, you guys. Okay, so for pretty much all of my pasta meals, I will sometimes mix in pasta with the zucchini noodles, but I love to make zucchini noodles and like substitute that for a big pasta dish just because I'm trying to eat a little bit lower carbs, so this is a really good alternative for like spaghetti or noodles. My next two things are carrots and snap peas. Okay, love snap peas. I'm like obsessed with them right now. They're so good, just dipped in hummus. Same thing with carrots, but I also like to cook carrots. Um, I think they pretty much mix in well with any meal. Really yummy. And then I got some asparagus. I normally don't really get asparagus because I like broccoli better, but Bronson loves asparagus and we're eating steak this week. Normally I pretty much only eat fish or chicken, but my lab results, my blood tests came back and said that I was low iron. So I'm trying to just like incorporate red meat every now and then. I'm really bad about that. I just prefer chicken or fish. So yeah, I need to be better about that. And then we all knew it was coming. Some avocados. I have like four left in the fridge. I didn't eat that many last week. I know, shocker. So I only got two this week. It was nice, save me some money. Okay, now on to the fruits. I always get bananas just because I mix them into smoothies and smoothie bowls that I make. And then I open them up and I put them in a little glass container and I freeze them because frozen bananas just, they make your smoothie so like creamy. If that, and then I get some lemons because I make my own salad dressing. You guys know this and I use lemons. Pretty much in every meal, actually, I use lemons. I just like squirt it on everything. Like if you don't know what to do, just squirt a lemon on it. it usually fixes it. I have been obsessed with raspberries lately. I go in these waves. I feel like I'm obsessed with raspberries and then I eat them too much and then I don't like them anymore. So <laughs> got some raspberries this week. And then I also got some strawberry. Love strawberries. They are lower in sugar and they're a good source of water. So if you don't drink enough water in the day, eating fruit throughout the day is good. Increase your hydration, baby. I also got some frozen blueberries to put into my smoothies. So for my sources of protein this week, I already have some fish and shrimp in the freezer from last week. And then I have, I got me and Bronson some steaks. This made my grocery shopping a little bit expensive this week. And then I got one frozen salmon. I'll usually cut this in half and have like half and half. So it'll last me two days. I love snacking on turkey breast, just like lunch meat. I think this is a great way if you're just like mindlessly snacking to get some protein in. I really like it. I've done this since I was like in high school. So I just love snacking on like lunch meat. And then another source of protein, I got a pumpkin and spinach burger and it looks so freaking good. They're coated in quinoa. And then I had to get some more maple syrup for my matcha recipe. I'm still going hard on the matcha y'all and it's actually delicious. I'm really enjoying it. And I honestly think cutting out coffee has made the biggest difference in my gut. Like I, I've seen a major difference in my digestion ever since just cutting out coffee and only drinking on the weekends. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And I, I'm really growing to love the matcha, okay? If I get tired of my sweet treat being fruit or like smoothies, I will buy like candied nuts. They're not the best for you, but honestly, these are so good. They're honey toasted pecans. So I have not had these since college because they're only sold at HEB. I swear they're only sold at HEB. They're called Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. And they're like little oatmeal cookies. I need to try and recreate the recipe, but they have really clean ingredients and they're gluten free, non-GMO, high fiber, and no sugar added. I've been trying to have half a kombucha every day for my gut health, and Buddha's Brew is by far my favorite brand of kombucha. The blueberry, so good. Haven't tried this one, so I'm excited. So I just get like two every week and have like half to a third of that a day. Okay, this is what I'm most excited for because I'm trying to back away from oat milk because oat milk, the one that I have has like 16 grams of carbs per cup and I drink that every morning and you guys know me, I like to eat my carbs, not drink them. And I'm already doing low carb, so I feel like that is not most beneficial for me right now. I was looking at other types of milks and I found this brand online. When you're looking at non-dairy milk, a lot of times they'll add in like a lot of gums and like unnecessary chemicals. Well, I guess they are necessary to keep them. It just makes their shelf life longer, but I just try and avoid that stuff. So this is, all, the only two ingredients are filtered water and walnuts. And Elmhurst is the brand and 
they have all of their milks are super clean ingredients like that like literally only two ingredients i'm really excited to try walnut milk never had it before i feel like it might be a little weird but oh well that's where we're at right now and then for the weekends when i do drink my coffee i got this um oat creamer just because I only put a little bit in it. It's also by Elmhurst, so I know it has really clean ingredients. So yeah, if you're looking for a clean milk, this one, highly recommend. And then from Trader Joe's, I just got this organic buffalo style hummus. Pretty much if it's buffalo style, I will probably like it because I love spicy food like that. And then I got this vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto, and it looks really good, and I've heard great things about it. And you guys know I'm really on the pesto kick right now, so I can't wait to try that. And then you guys know I had to get it, the cauliflower and kale gnocchi. Surprisingly, I actually like the kale better. Really weird, but I don't know why. I feel like it cooks better than the cauliflower one. So, and they pretty much taste the same, to me at least. And that's pretty much it. I spent around $130 on all of this, which is a lot, I will admit. Um, but I usually cook for me and Bronson, so that's for both of us. And I got the steaks this week, which were like $25. Um, so that definitely bumped up the price a little bit. Here's my little word of encouragement. If you're scared to start eating healthy, just start small. Like pick up a few different veggies at the grocery store and just throwing them into your meal. And then eventually you can get more and more and more and kind of figure out what you like because nutrition is so individualized. Like you don't have to eat like me. You might not like anything that I cook. You can still be just as healthy as me. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to eat the exact same meals as me. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm just saying, don't let it stress you out and don't let it intimidate you. It's really not that bad, I promise you. You can do it. I believe in you. Mwah. The, the Q baby. The, the, the Q. He says he wants to go play. Who wants to go play? Is it you? You want this ball? You want this little smiley face ball? Bling! Yeah! Let's go play somewhere. Let's go play somewhere, cutie boy. Come on. Good boy. Bro Beans, you already lost your ball. I don't know where it is. You can't just sit up there. So me and Bronson are gonna take him to play a little bit on a little bitty walk. Hey vlog, how's it going? Oh my God, little bro. Little. He's fine. The little Bro Beans tried to jump out of the car, but I'm a good father and I grabbed him. Dude, I parallel parked so good. She bought bags for the poop. I don't believe in cleaning up poop. Simply don't. Manure is stupid to clean up because, what? Oh, Kylie wants me to secretly vlog. Okay, anyways, manure is stupid to clean up because it works as a fertilizer, but when you clean it up, you're using a plastic bag and that is far worse for the environment than a little dog poop. Oh so that's why I choose not to clean up after my dog. Not because I'm a bad person, but because I'm such a great person that I'm taking care of the environment. Say Popeye and bologna. I don't know the words. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this vlog. We're gonna go home, work out. This is Bronson's channel now. What are we eating? We're gonna eat we're steak. Gonna... I got steak. Oh, for we're tonight. eating steaks. Yeah, trying to up my iron levels. Upper iron levels and her B12. Yeah. Yeah, gonna get swole. Probably yeah, gonna, we're gonna work out. Probably later. gonna hit leg day because still got this little wound on my hand. Oh my god. It's fun vlog. See y'all later. You don't even know if it was fun vlog. You weren't even here for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I love y'all. Don't forget to like this video. Don't thumbs down it or that's really mean. Or everyone. No, no, no. Don't even say it. Love you guys.
see you next time. Bye. Chicken wings, chicken wings, Popeye and bologna. Popeye and bologna? I think it's French fry and bologna. That could be it.